this 30th anniversary of the State of Baden-Württemberg and State of Connecticut partnership is momentous occasion. It's also a milestone for the University of Connecticut as the manager of this relationship since 2050. Baden-Württemberg's leading institutions of higher education have contributed to the strength of Germany and we are fortunate in to collaborate with them. Our students and faculty have benefited immensely from this ingenuity, innovation, and critical inquiry achieved through the unique mobility, research, and immense experiences offered by this partnership. Looking at our experience our, uh, of our common program, um, it's, it's remarkable to see that from stores to Stuttgart, from Connecticut to Baden-Württemberg, uh, we, are, we are connected through a lively and long-standing tradition of collaboration with our state-to-state -state program and I'm convinced, I'm convinced that this kind of experiences we offer to our students change lives forever and I'm convinced that this um, linkage we have is very important for the future too between our universities, between our countries uh, to create global perspectives and to bring people together. The program really started at the state government level and the first initiative was to create the exchange program. It was very important for companies here in Connecticut to realize that this was a legislative partnership that gave the program a, a certain kind of uh, legitimacy. Several years ago, our office, the Office of Higher Education, actually hosted this program and uh, up until about uh, 2015, subsequently the University of Connecticut has taken it over to sort of host it and provide a much more packaged and robust opportunity for this to exist and thrive in Connecticut. Many other of our state universities, including Trinity and Yale and members of the state university system, also participate in this program. And we've seen the program really grow exponentially. This partnership has provided uh, students from both countries the opportunity to study internationally and really be able to learn not only pedagogy but practice from each other. As the longest running program in international engineering, Eurotech is a unique partnership between UConn Engineering and Baden-Württemberg that has sent hundreds of students to one of the most powerful economic regions in Europe. Germany is a landscape for industry, especially for the producing of products, so this is our goal and there we are very successful and we have a lot of big companies like Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, so this car producer industry. Yesterday we visited here the firma Trumpf, yeah. uh, this is a family company um, on laser technology. My son has directly benefited from this relationship. He participated in Yukon Eurotech program and visited Germany in 2007. He was at Constance University and uh, he studied about German literacy and poetry. And I asked him why you are taking those courses because you are a student in engineering. And he says, mom, I have to study about culture. I have to study about Goethe before I go and have internship. The broadening vision that our students get as they travel abroad and they realize that humanity is actually a small family. And these family members face the same problems, same issues. And understanding that, understanding that we are just one member in this small family, does miracles for an engineer. The Baden-Württemberg year is essential for our students. No matter whether they work in the Eurobiz or in the Eurotech program, um, whether they're pursuing other degrees, which they tend to do, like music or technology, IT or history, for example, they're so motivated when they come back, they just want to keep going. The Connecticut Baden-Württemberg exchange program is of a special interest for us concerning Eurobiz. So the questions not focus so much on engineering and natural sciences as the other universities focus on. I think the Baden-Württemberg program was really instrumental in building uh, the Eurobiz program um, because it allows us uh, privileged access to our partners in Baden-Württemberg and that has made it very easier for us to establish these relationships. 
it, it's very important to get a, a knowledge about the, a different culture. Um, our university systems are quite close uh, when, when you look from the, the umbrella. Uh, but there are differences in the curricula, there are differences in the way uh, people are, are learning and teaching. And uh, the experience for your life is something which is, is really stunning. Well, internationality and diversity, also on an international level, is one of the key factors of the modern university. And we were always open to it, to internationality, but it's, it's getting more and more important uh, to share the common views, the common values. Uh, at Yale, we aspire to be a university with global reach, and so it's very important to us to have partners like the ones in Baden-Württemberg that make it possible for our students to have these tremendous experiences. So we're really delighted to have Minister Bauer and her delegation here and the university leaders, uh, and we hope this will continue our fruitful partnership. On our end, um, uh, we were able to receive students from different Baden-Württemberg uh, universities, and that was a real a boon for uh, Trinity to have students in English, American studies, but also uh, different fields. If you m meet and uh, uh, learn more about uh, different people and culture and companies, you, you, you always um, go home with a better feeling. Yeah. Cultural exchange has always been important. If you are a student of literature, as I am, you recognize that from earliest times when people encountered uh, others who were like them in many respects but had different cultural and religious uh, and aesthetic uh, dimensions to their lives, it, it broadened their awareness of what it means to be a human being. As Goethe said, the more languages you speak, the more of a human being you are. The transatlantic ties have been especially dear to Tübingen and Connecticut is of course one of the great states, uh, one of the cradles of democracy, one of the core uh, states in the United States and uh, so this is an extremely important relationship and the more so today when we think about how democracy is threatened to think back about this wonderful tradition and how to keep it alive you know, for both our students and our faculty. The Connecticut Baden-Württemberg Human Rights Research Consortium is a unique international, interdisciplinary and interinstitutional initiative that involves approximately 90 members on both sides of the Atlantic in 15 leading, we might want to say, world um, famous universities and institutes. So we have um colleagues in Baden-Württemberg and Connecticut working together and oftentimes the synergy between researchers from different cultures, from different academic traditions and different disciplines, uh, bringing them all together is really mutually beneficial. I think the Human Rights Research Consortium and the partnership is working extremely well. Uh, we have had really tough times because of the pandemic, but nevertheless we met uh, via Zoom and virtually, and now we meet here at the Yukon, and it's great to see coming people together and exchanging ideas in all these different fields. We started two years ago uh, the collaboration on Human Rights Consortium, um, and very, very relevant and uh, uh, issue of common interest, and perhaps we could identify more of these um, common problems and, and challenges. For example, with uh, respect to teacher training. Our mission at UConn's NEAC School of Education is to improve educational and social systems to be more effective, equitable, and just for all. We want to send graduates out into the field who are well-informed and globally-minded citizens. Part of that is ensuring that we can continue to expand education abroad opportunities in which our students can take part all around the world. You know, I think that our German partners can easily bring a level of richness, a level of diversity, internationalization, appreciation for global context, for how not just teaching and learning is done, how they approach um, diversity, equity and inclusion as one of their initiatives as well. It's absolutely necessary to give our young teachers more international experience. School today is no more only a regional school. We have such a diversity in our school. We have migration all over the world 
and our young teachers, they won't find a regional school with only students from the region, but they find a diversity. I think for us, these state-to-state -state partnerships are very important for us as a university because um, we are an international university, we want our students to have um, international experience and with the state-to-state -state partnerships we have at, at the very first time with a partnership, we have many universities in the US and you have many universities in Baden-Württemberg. I think that's very helpful for us, um, both in terms of uh, student education because we can send them here, but also for our faculty because uh, for us it's not just student mobility, what a partnership is important about, but it's also uh, research internationalization. The the, the German universities can learn from the US universities quite a bit and vice versa hopefully too. We in Freiburg we have a curriculum a liberal arts and sciences which is unique in Germany. So this sort of interdisciplinary studies you have in the US is very rare. So to learn how these studies uh, of liberal arts and sciences work at UConn, for, for example, that's really a thing I really want to learn here. European universities and also KIT <clears throat> are discussing quite a lot about this idea of liberal arts and sciences, you know, working together interdisciplinarily uh, in, in, in different fields. And I think um, this is something that is very far developed uh, at uh, universities like UConn and we really try to um, kind of learn from that. This uh, visit in, in Connecticut is a great experience for us. We looked at very interesting places, met uh, people who do interesting things and also uh, see the companies who work together and give us, give us good inspirations for our work and our cooperation with uh, Connecticut and Baden-Württemberg Exchange. With all the wonderful initiatives that are already in place, I think it really the most important aspect is to continue to foster these collaborations and be open-minded to the many opportunities that we surely will have. Well, what makes it special is the individuals that you get to meet through this program. And, and it, it was just, uh, what shall I say, sort of magic <laughs> and the best is still to come. <laughs>